That song is called Na Na Mai, which means look at me. I wrote it when I first met the Happy Face Spider for the first time. I had never seen anything like it. And when I learned it was a Hawaiian spider, one you can only find in the islands, I felt a kinship to that spider. And I wanted to get to know it better and to share its story with everyone else. It was up here on Mount Ka'ala, the highest point on Oahu, that I found the first happy face spider under a leaf, a leaf maybe a little smaller than this one, and I could hardly believe it. I took a look at it and saw those, those eyes looking back and that big lipstick-coated mouth and wondered, what is this? Not only is it beautiful, it's just really a mystery. What, what does it mean? I took it to some friends who were interested in all kinds of nature. Uh, Bill Maul, I guess I woke him up in the middle of the night uh, when I got home that day, and he was pretty impressed too, and he got out his macro lenses and, and took some real portraits of it. And they came out of the mountains rather at nighttime, rather late at night, uh, and came over to my house. I was living in Manoa at the time. And uh, knocked on my door and said, hey, Bill, look what we found. And, uh, and uh, so I looked at their little spider, and I, as I recall, I said, oh, you've got a happy face spider. And that seems to be the name, the common name that's stuck with them uh, ever since. Well, the happy face spider, or the Theridion gralator, is a species known only in the state of Hawaii. There are varieties that differ from island to island, even Molokai and West Maui will have its East Maui and Big Island. Haven't found them yet on Kauai, but we just have to look a little harder, I think. Probably a little spiderling, something smaller than a period, was blown in the winds. They have a trick of letting out a strand of silk, and it's just like flying a kite, except in this case, the kite picks them up and carries them away from an island, maybe Tahiti, or maybe Samoa, or maybe even Japan was a source area, and the, the jet stream carried them on the wind, and the spiderling fell out of the sky and landed uh, on the island of Oahu four million years ago. Today, I'm sort of looking here at uh, uh, a mother with, uh, with a whole gang of babies, about 50 babies, uh, that, uh, that hatch from her egg sac. And uh, you can just make out the beginnings of faces on the baby's backs. And so many of the little babies have, uh, have little happy faces sketched on their backs already. These happy faces are a real marvel. There's just no way to explain why they have uh, caricatures of faces on their back, of smiling faces. Uh, some of these spiders have other kinds of patterns, too. But uh, a great many of them have what are clear caricatures of human faces. Uh, these spiders uh, certainly don't occur anywhere else in the world. They're uh, pure kama'aina. These are, these are real Hawaiian spiders.
The fate of all living creatures rests on the shoulders of the children. You pass on what you know, so they will also know. There's one. May we borrow your leaf? Oh, he, uh, thank you. Great. Wow. Oh, yeah. this one? Remember what you look for? Yeah. What do you see on the spider's back when you see happy him? Face. A happy, a happy face. face. What color is his mouth? Black. black. I mean red. 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 red with a black outline. Right. I don't see and he doesn't smiling. even he doesn't even have all his knees red yet. <laughs> How many knees does he have? He has a lot of knees. He has Two knees on every leg, and he's got eight legs. So that's how many knees? Eight, six, sixteen. Sixteen eight. knees. Oh, wow. I never thought of that before. Sheesh, that's a lot. That's a lot of it'll, knees. It'll be a lot of scrubbing. Yeah, yeah, he could do a lot of crawling around. He could do a lot of scrubbing, huh? He has to wash his knees. There's a lot more out there, and even though I'm not going to learn it all about it in my lifetime, at least maybe we've aroused a few young curious naturalists